This is a quick tutorial on how to generate a wing from an airflow coordinate file in Rhino. First, what you need to do is generate an XYZ file. What you'll notice here is we've taken a simple XY file, for example, from XFOIL with your X and Y coordinates, and added a zero coordinate for the Z. So everything is in an XYZ format. Again, you can generate this, say, in a spreadsheet uh, from an XFOIL file. You'll just need to export this in a comma delimited format, so that way you have commas between all of your co uh, co um, coordinates. First line, you're going to enter polyline. On the last, you'll have enter. This will allow Rhino to read in all of the coordinates and draw a polyline file. Once you have that file saved, Go to Rhino under Tools, Commands, and Read from File. So this is a nice feature in Rhino that allows you to input any commands you want into a single text file and then read that directly. So in this case, we're going to read the Falvel airfoil, and it's drawn directly into Rhino. Now this is a single curve, and you have a couple of options in terms of extruding this into a wing shape. Uh, one is to go under the surface menu, extrude curve. You can do this straight for example. Uh, we'll go to our airfoil in the right view, extrude curve straight, and now we can extrude this to any distance we want to. Note that we can set a value up here if we choose to do so up here or we can just do it straight from the visual menu. And there we have our airfoil now nicely extruded. You can also delete this surface here. You can also extrude this if you want along the curve to a point or tapered. It will ask you for example what value of taper that you want. You have to be careful on some of these because it will try to figure out which tangent or normal surface normal to use in terms of the taper. So again we go to, for example, um, to a point. We'll try to extrude this to a single point. Another option is to loft the curves. Take a curve here, copy and paste it. This way we have another curve, and we can scale that one. In this case, we can scale in 2D. So, pick a reference point, another point, scale that, air, scale that airfoil down, and then we can go under our surfaces and loft the two curves together. Now, another option is to, if you want to do this in solid rather than as a surface, is to turn your surface into a, sorry, turn your curve into a surface, and then from that case, extrude your surface under the solid menu. Extrude surface, you know, again, straight along curve. Uh, and the curve is defined, so you'll have an additional curve that you can define in here. As such. In this case, then you'll have a solid airfoil rather than just a um, surface. Um, from there, you know, you can use Rhino's other features such as drawing a cylinder, pyramid, truncated cone, combine this with other airfoils or a fuselage, for example. and appropriate scaling eventually you can get to something like this or this with of course a couple hours worth of work.